The next auto enter feature is auto enter from last visited. This is a nifty way to duplicate a record without duplicating every field. And if you remember, we already covered this feature from the menus. We can go up here and look at insert and there's from last visited. So the way it worked was you activated a record by clicking into it and then if you went to another record or created a new record you could then insert from last visited and that value would go on there and you could do as many as you wanted to. So that's a pretty uh, nifty feature if you want to duplicate the record but not every single field. Now there's also an auto enter option for this. So we're going to go into manage database and look at that and we'll come down to our category field, go into options, and you remember before we had said to auto enter every single time you create a record the word commercial because it was our most common choice. Well we're going to switch it over to value from last visited. You'll see it automatically unchecks this because you can't have both of them checked. They'd over which one would take precedence. It wouldn't make any sense. So what will happen now or maybe the idea behind why we're checking this would be let's say you often enter a bunch of contact records that are from the same industry, the same category. Well this will help a little bit. Instead of it always entering commercial, enter the last value that you entered from the previous record. So let's go ahead and try that out. If we change Bob to let's say government, we've changed that value and selected the record at the same time or activated it and then chose new record, you'll see it puts government on there. So that might be useful to you. I don't generally use this feature in this way. There's many ways to do it. I, I often use it from here and I often use it from a script because with a script I can control when I want it to happen. You might have a button that says duplicate record but it's not just the duplicate feature which you can duplicate a record with a script step by using this command but it's going to go ahead and duplicate just what you want. Just let's say just the name and address or something like that. So we could make a feature like that. By making it a script, we could control when it works and when it doesn't. We could have a new record button and a duplicate record button that uses last visited. So I'm going to go in to manage database and turn this off. Go to the category, go into options, and change it back to data. We'll go ahead and click OK, click OK, and we'll delete some of these records that we don't need. There we go, delete that one. And again, you can use each feature as you see fit. I'm just giving you my two cents worth here to tell you how I use it, but it's really up to you to determine what's the best way to use each feature, how to combine it with things, you know, when to use it. Do I like this feature better than another one? It's really a personal choice. I'm just going to give you a road map and you can decide to take a different road if you want to.